Welcome back guys, so today we're going to be working on creating some eyelashes for our character. So let's get started on this. So I'm going to go back, go to I, let's hide this for now, control it to hide, hide that. Then we'll go to uh, our eyes cow, review that, shift H to review that. Okay, so if you notice in here the reference, notice that the upper eyelashes are kind of longer than the lower eyelashes. So keeping that in mind, we're going to try as much as possible to kind of recreate to create something interesting in here. Alright. So selecting this, selecting this, uh, selecting this piece, this eyes, <coughs> so this eyes cap. We're going to just do something. We'll just go back to the primitive tab, and we will just come in here and click on description, create new description. So we still want this to still be added to the existing eye collection. Eye collection which is completely fine. So I'll put this on placing and shipping guys. Randomly, randomly, randomly across surface is fine. Spline and splines used for longer and vine this is fine. But in here I want to change it. We want to change this to eye lashes underscore D E S C. Okay, I think, every, I think we have everything all set up now. Let me just try to make sure. Okay, that's fine. I'll just click on create. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now we have that completely set up now. So let's just do a quick save again for this. Okay, uh, yes, so next thing I want to do is to start putting in the settings for this just like we did in the, pre in the previous lesson. So let's, just <coughs> so let's just start opening and pasting this in here. Okay. All right, that seems fine. Uh, yes. So let's start creating some guides in here. Let me just start thinking. I think. The eyes are not perfect, perfectly symmetrical, especially on the lower parts of the eyelid. So, on the upper part, they are very symmetrical. So let's just let's just start from the upper parts and kind of um, mirror that to the other side. So let's click on this plus icon. It's kind of add, add guides in here. So let's see, it should be going out from somewhere around here. Here also. Here. Think of the way here yeah, should be fine. Then I will select all of this. Kind of get them facing a bit more like so. Okay. 
Now I'm not going to rebuild this. This should be on. Yes, one more thing. Primitive. Turn off. Turn that off. You don't want to visualize the hair yet. But I keep clicking that. Primitive instead. Now I'm going to rebuild this. So I'll put this at a value of 8. I'll click OK. Now that's that feels weird. What, what, what just happened? What just happened? Now what just happened? Why are my eyes been changed into splines? Why my eyes been changed into splines? That's really weird. So I'll set all this. I'll select all the splines for this. And this is very, this is extremely strange. This is very strange. Let's let all of this again. I'll go to my utilities tab. And I'll do a convert call. I'll do a call to call to guide. So, call to guide. Add guides. Yes. Good. That was very strange. Let's kind of, let's kind of, let's kind of make sure you kind of see how many points are in here. Okay, actually, it's <clears throat> that's fine. So, go to the sculpting tool. Let me just back up a bit more. So, just kind of, I don't want to select objects more. Let's select just one guide. Okay. Now this I'll definitely need to adjust the size is way too much though. And just put it this way. I'm going to adjust the size in a bit. Let's just kind of get this overall look in there. Okay. Move it this, this way. Right. Select this. Gonna move it this way. Just select this and rotate this. Take this this way. Let's just start by pulling this out like so. Select this piece and I'll get this out like so. So I was letting there as an individual piece now I'm beginning to try to get the try to get them to kind of be more rotated in a way that it feels more realistic. Alright. The scale we need to adjust though. <coughs> So the scale for this one at the end, 
I need to kind of shrink that down. This one also should follow, like so. This also I shrink down. It should follow like so. <coughs> shrink this down also a bit more. So let's look at this from the side. From the side view, this looks good enough. So I'll select all of this and I'll just mirror this to the other side. <coughs> Alright. Now this will definitely work. You just click with save. Okay, so now let's do same for the lower part. So let's just add some A in there. Uh, I think from around here. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty bit out of place. So let's just select this. But still, let me just select this. I'm just gonna copy. Okay. We're doing this the other way. Let's see if it's actually if it's actually going to mirror. Copy. Let me just push select just this only and then move this down. Use the rotate to kind of move this down. I think now I should have a bit more room to paste. Doesn't seem to be pasting though. Should I just try and mirror this to the other side first? Let's see if that would mirror to the other side. Okay, it actually did. Cool. So let's select this and just get this. Down like so. Okay. Okay. And just do the same also in here. I'm going to start by stretching this out like so. I'll select this piece. Stretch this out like so. Okay. Just get a better angle to this around here. I'm just going to scale this down inwards a bit more like so. Let's see what we have. This particular one I need to. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Then I'm just gonna figure out how far out they should be. 
because select all of this and scale this in a bit more okay let us drop let us drop one more in here Check this from the top view. Yes, can let's see if this is working correctly or not. This one is gonna rotate this way, this way a bit more. This should do this way. This also like so. This like so. This almost facing. Placing a bit, not too much. Yes, yeah, something I should be just fine. Kind of facing front a bit more, not really bending, not really bending this to the left or to the right. More or less like facing this at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now select all of this. I'll mirror it to the other side. Oh man. So let me select all of this first and delete it. Now select all of this now and mirror it. Okay, that's fine. So the upper eye, the eyelashes on the, on the, on the upper eye did a Longer than the eyelashes on the lower eyelid, so keeping that in mind. So now let's paint a density map for this. That should be fine. So let's type in I lashes. Underscore D E N underscore max. This should be on full black. Click create. Now let's go in. Let's go in there and begin to paint where you want the hairs to grow out from. So I need to use a much smaller brush size for this. If you have this asymmetry, let me turn on shaded also on this. Oh yeah, I think we're actually painting black on black. So let's put this on full white. Take down your brush size a bit more. Now I don't think I'm painting that accurately. Uh. I need to clean this off. Let me just paint, continue painting around this first. Now let me erase, erase the inner parts using a much bigger brush size and then just clear that out. Then I'll turn off the I'll turn off the turn off the reflection. I'll turn off the reflection now because I don't I don't want to kind of get this painted in symmetrically so 
because this lower, lower part of the eye is not perfectly symmetrical so I'm just doing this as an individual painting so I'm going to kind of avoid it here it shouldn't be here there shouldn't be much hair growing around here maybe we won't paint this off like so Use this all the way to white Okay, um, I feel I will still need to kind of make some corrections to this though. But before I go back and make some making corrections, let me kind of get this written out. Written this out a bit more. The one you can be probably same here also. Okay, so let's save this. Let's save this texture also. And let's see what we have. So I increase this a bit more. Uh, then we have his green, green in here, so I want to use the only to go to black and then use the mouse cursor instead, kind of paint, paint that more accurately in there. And I also need, I also need, I would also need, uh, yes, let's paint this with symmetry turned on. Kind of raise this permanently. But man, I still have a lot of this in here. Receive. Okay. Now you notice how this particular air is just pushing down way too much because these two these two guys are kind of quite close to themselves, so it's kind of trying to interpolate in between them to kind of capture a shape, a air strand that is more or less an average of these two in here in terms of directionality of the air of the air guide. So now how do we fix something like this? I think we're going to be using I think this would be a good time to kind of use the use the uh region max for this. Uh this is strange. what is this? What do we have here? Okay, this is extremely strange. Wait, let me make sure. Uh, let me make sure I turn off reflect for now. Let's see. This is quite strange. I have no idea why it's not generating. The idea is not generated properly in here. rather hold it just feels extended out way too much probably this probably some kind of bug or something is that really weird so 
So let's let's try to fix that. Let's try and fix that. Okay. Uh, let's start by selecting all of this and we'll convert them to guys guys to call this let's click on delete instead so let's create calls from this I shouldn't be having anything in here. I don't know why this is still generating something in here. Should not be having anything growing out in here at all. <coughs> Selecting all of this scene. Let me select the head. <coughs> Selecting all of this again, all of this. Curves. I'm going to convert this curves to guide. So curves to guide. Okay. We're still having the same issue. Still have the same issue. Okay, let's see if our region max is going to fix that. So, what the region max actually does, let me just find this around here somewhere else in here. So, what the region max actually does is more or less like kind of separating or kind of forcing to separate or force separate through two sides of the hair using color ID map. Or using yes, using color ID map that you kind of painted in by yourself. So the color is actually in in those two colors, red and blue. So like for example, let me see if I can find an example in here. Let's see. So there should be an example somewhere in here. Yes, something like this. Let's say you want to create some kind of pattern in here. Yes, more or less like a pattern. I don't want the X Gen head kind of interpolating between guides that are close to themselves to kind of create kind of kind of the kind of average out and hair strand that will kind of grow in the center. You can kind of use the region maps to kind of force this to kind of make sure nothing is nothing is kind of being interp no hairs or no hair strands are being interpolated in between to kind of give an average an average out um Air strands bring out from the directionality of your air guides. Let's see if we can find a better, more precise example of this. There's another separation in here also. Yes, yeah, something like this also. Something like so. It's another example here. Yeah, it's a good example in here. Now, region maps was actually used in here. Kind of separate out the edges, kind of force them, kind of accept or be on one particular ID color region. So let's just yes, this, is, this is this is a good example. You can see how we have more of a cleaner part in here without any interpolated averaged out air strands in the middle. So we're going to be using the region max to kind of create that. So let's hope that fixes this web error we have in here. If not, then it's probably a bug. Okay, so to kind of set up region max, what we have to do first is to now it's not on, it's not on, on. so zero means off. If for now it's not turned on, and we have to kind of paint a max in there to kind of make sure it's showing. So let's start by putting this to one. Yeah, it won't work because there's no map, there's no selected map for, there's no selected map for it. So let's come in here. Let's come in here and create a map for that. So 
in here it, it, the particular difference in here is that you cannot change this map resolution so once you have this setup ready you cannot go back and then change this map resolution whereas for the whereas for this particular density map you can actually come in there and then change I think it should be this node yes you can actually come in here and then change the you can see it in here you can actually come in here and change the map resolution you can come here and just increase this all the way to 50 then click save for this so that will, that will actually update also or apply whichever one you prefer to use but in this case in the case of using in the case of using in the case of using this region maps once you kind of set it up initially you can't go back on it you cannot go back on it so let's come in there create map probably put this let's put this as a value of 50 so now which value do you want to paint on? Red or green? Or rather, which value do you want to start with? So let's kind of let's kind of flood fill this with blue. Let's flood fill this with blue. Oh, and we need, to, we need to kind of name this very important. Let's make sure we name this. So eyelashes underscore region underscore max so let me flood fill this with blue click on create so we're gonna flood fill this with blue so now we're just gonna paint in red now kind of kind of separate this out so we will go to let's go in here Let's just use a solid color of red and let's use solid brush for this. Okay. I believe in this case we can use the texture. Let's see assign. Let's increase this to 2K. Assign texture. Alright, then I think we can work on symmetry on this, which should be just fine. So now let's start painting around here. So I'm just gonna get this red all the way here, like so. Yeah, I think we have too many. We have so many, too many. It's kind of bleeding out. So we need to kind of paint blue around this around this region. Let's come in here and pick. I think this is a solid color of blue. So let's paint blue in here. Kind of raise some of this. Okay, I think this should be pretty much fine, I believe. It should be just fine. So I would just click on save. This is actually this is actually strange. This is definitely a bug. This is definitely this is definitely a bug. I do not see any reason why this should this should be looking the way it is right now. This is definitely a bug. This ought to have fixed the issue for us.
it just doesn't feel right. Okay, let's see. Let's find a way to fix this. This is just strangely odd. Strangely odd. Let's see maybe adding let's try maybe adding a clump modifier should, should do something maybe. Okay. Clump modifier seems to kind of push this back in. But the other side is just you just see you just the way it is which is beginning to get really annoying. Let me just put this all the way to value of fifty. No 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 this is this is this is weird. This is really weird. This is definitely a bug. Definitely a bug. Let me just do a quick save for this post. Let's try. Let me convert all of this again to calls. Convert all of this to calls. Uh, utility. Guys, to call. Okay. Now, generating, running this again is not supposed to even generate. It's not supposed to even generate any kind of hair in here. There should be no hair generated here because of course we cannot remove the guide. So the guide is not since there are no guides here. Hair is not supposed to be generated in here. But for some reason, we have some strange airship in there. Worst part is that I can't even select them. It can't even be selected. I'm trying to use this select primitive to kind of select the air strands. But you're not select. They're not selecting. In here, I can actually select them. Because the color changes when I when I select them. But for this, I cannot even select them. Just feels like it just showing in the viewport, but it's not it's not actually there. So I might just have to close. I might just have to close this file and open it again. Does this do anything? Even when I turn off air, it goes away. And I kind of refresh this, it still comes back in. Man, this is kind of, this is getting really annoying. It's getting really annoying. And they're not even selecting us. No one selecting us an air piece. Okay. Let me convert this to 
Okay, now they are actually selected. When I select this, let me see if I can deselect. Okay. So now they are actually selected. Let's see if we can just do a delete for that. Okay, cool. So what I let me undo this again so I can show you guys what okay, it's not showing anymore. So what I actually did was that I selected this air air guides, then come in here and deselected the egg. Sorry, I selected this air curves, or this curves rather. Then come in here and deselected the curves why those air strands were being selected. Then I just do a delete from from around here. National, national, so now let's convert these curves to guides and let's go let's go everything works correctly now let's generate air for this faces as guide for the editors This is getting rather annoying. It's getting really, really annoying, honestly. We only have the air generating on, on just one side. Yes, I know. Xgen can be can be very annoying sometimes. Just when you thought everything is going working correctly, you just get just do something that just gets on, get gets on your nerves. Uh, okay. Let's do this instead. Let's oscillate all of this at the top. I'll delete that. Then I would select everything at this top and mirror it to the other side. Ish. Just see that. Just looks. It even looks out of place. So let's generate as again. Let's see if that's faces as guides. What is this even what is this even saying? Faces faces as guys close together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this has to be updated. I think I have no choice but to just lose this software and then open it again. To be quite real, let me just be sure if there's something else I can can do in here probably to make it work. Let's just change this description for a moment. And go back to that description. Yeah, nothing seems to be working.
Okay. Oh well. So I've opened up the map. I've opened up the. I'll close my and open it up again. So let's just check everything to be sure if if our errors have been generated from the correct project directory. Okay. So I mean, this one comes out quite nicely. That's fine. Let's argue that. Let's check for the side here. So it automatically found the directory for it and then applied itself. So that's completely fine. That's precisely what we want. That's for the eyebrow. Let's check the eyelashes for this. We are still having the same, still have the same very annoying problem. Still have the same very annoying problem. Problem. It's not generating hairs on the other side. Okay, so don't have any other choice, but so just create a new description. It's rather annoying. Now I have to create a new description. But that's fine. Let's just let me just let, let, let just get this in place first. Let's just get most let us get most of this in place first. So I'll just move this. Let's move this particular one in place. The most annoying part is redoing, redoing the painted marks we've done on this. So I'll just select all these guides. I'll go to utilities and calls to guide. No. Who wants guides to call? Delete any other guide that is in there. Okay, so now let's create a new description. We'll put the description in the same place. So, create new description. Yes, sorry, we need to select the yes cap first for creating your description. Okay. Let me just name this to new. I. New underscore I lashes underscore description DISC it should be fine. Yes, yes. The same collection, that's fine. Okay. Let's just set just set this up really quick. So with 0 0.01, 0 0.76, 0 0.71, 0 0.010, 0 0.71, 0 0.010. Then 0 0.0 Seven six okay. Let me increase this for now. Let's select all these calls under the utilities. Let's use calls to guide. 
path guides preview turn this off aha much better now we have something green where now we have something green where they ought to go out from so the next thing you just need to do now is just to create a max a map for this So we can put this to let's see let's see 40 ish black name this to new underscore i lashes i lashes underscore e n underscore max printing this on full black okay Same texture, let's put this at 2K resolution. I'm painting full white. Let's turn on the let's turn on the reflection for this. Take this all the way to something as small as this. Turn on the wireframe and shaded. Probably make the process a bit smaller. You just paint. Right, should be a fair amount. Uh. Let's turn on this reflector and our paint black and just eliminate. Oh man, we need to do this. We need to do this again. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be a solid brush. Okay, no worries. Let's just let's see anything we need to fix. We just fix that as we move along. So let's just let me just increase this kind of paint black on this. Then paint white in it. Oh, it's still on, <coughs> it's still on black. Paint white in here. Okay. <coughs> Do the same for the lower parts. Okay, let's do the same for the other side. Okay, then let's do a save. Okay, you can see now we're not really having so much of an issue around here. Turn this off for now. And we have a uh, generating accurately here also. Good. Great. So now we need to do any other, any other very serious work in here again. 
So let's just save this. Spotlight one seems to be working quite nicely, but at least even though you had issue for the previous one, at least we talked about something new that we did not talk about before, which is the region, which is the region map. So we need a bit more. We need we need a bit more here in here. Uh, this seems to be going way off. So generating a bit of. Let's just erase this. Save this again. Probably select this piece and rotate this upwards. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it should be fine. Let's turn off the air guide. <coughs> turn off the air guides for now. Let's get this to look right. So let's start adding some. I think we need a bit more. To put this all the way to 150. So let's go to <coughs> let's go to the modifiers. Let me put this at 20. So let's go to the modifiers. Let's add a clump modifier to this. Generate, save. We need to do. We need to do so much in here, though. <coughs> Let's get a few more in here. Let's try value of nine. <coughs> okay. Let's look for some reference for this. If you can find. They're a bit more spaced out. Let's see. It's kind of free this pop like so. Since somewhere around something, I think something like this would be just would work just fine. Maybe you can come to the setup in here and put this the value of three. Then create another new clump in modifier. I'll put this particular one at the value of let's see twelve. Okay, that seems to get a bit, get a bit too tight. So 
So let's go in there and then free up. Free this up a bit more. Ah, let me pull this down. Let's reduce this down to around 0 0.4. Do we do we even need this clumping? So Put this to one. Then this I will just let me just drop this. This is zero point three. Yeah, I think this would be a good number. I think this is a better. This is a better number. I think we just leave this the way it is. Do we need some? Do we need any amount of noise in there? I'm not too sure. But let's just add something in there. Let's see what the where's this noise? Let's see what the default noise does. Okay. Maybe a bit too much. Let's put this around. 0.4 yeah something like this should be just fine then we'll add one last thing let's just add the cuts modifier to this let's use the let's use this instead copy this use this in here I can't really seem to see much of what is happening in this. Let's just kind of crank this up. Let's put this to around value of 6. Let me check this for me. This for me distance like so. I think this lower parts, this lower guides, I need to kind of bend them down a bit more. They need to be more a bit more bent down. So I'm going to select them. I think we need to move this guy. Let's move this all the way here. Like so this one needs to come down a bit more. All of this needs to come down. Probably select a bit more. Okay, so let's update that. It's just about right. Let me just make sure. Let me just take this down to three instead. Three and bring back that close brackets. Okay. So I come in here. I'll select all of this. I'm beginning to begin to get them to face down was a bit more. Okay, much better. So let's hide this now. I think this should be more or less should be more or less good enough. Let 
yeah this will work just fine all right so let's just do a quick save for this so in the next lesson we are going to be tackling tackling the tackling the uh, beard still trying to figure out this particular one to stick with maybe something as maybe something as simple as this should be should be good enough to use something fair something as something as something like this should be more or less fair good, good enough to work with Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But I think this should be just fine for now, so bye for now.